Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the quadratic sequence which has a formula of Tn is equals to An squared plus Bn plus C. So we're going to be looking at three things. We're going to be looking at how to derive the equation of A plus B plus C, which is the first term, and how to derive 2A, which is the second difference, which is normally constant, right? And we're also going to be looking at how to derive 3A plus B is equals to the first term of the first difference. So we're going to start off with our our quadratic sequence, right? Which we know having a general term of a n squared plus b n plus c, right? So if you were to find the first term of this quadratic um, sequence, we're going to substitute where there's n, we put 1, right? So it's going to be a into 1 squared plus b into 1 plus c, right? So we're going to have a plus b plus c. So this would be our first term, right? First term of the quadratic sequence. And then the second term of the quadratic sequence is going to be t2 is equals to, so where there's n, we're going to put 2, so it's going to be a into 2 to the power 2 plus b into 2, close bracket plus c, right? So we're going to have t of 2 being equals to 4a, right, because it's 2 squared plus 2 B plus C. So this would be our second term, right, of the quadratic sequence. And then um, to find the, the third term of the quadratic sequence, we're going to say T3 is equals to A into, we're going to put 3 to the power 2 plus B into 3 plus C. Right, so uh, 3 to the power of 2 is 9, so it's going to be 9a plus 3b plus c. So this is going to be term number 3, the third term of, so this is the third term of the sequence, right? And then term number 4 would be a into 4 to the power of 2 plus b into 4 plus c right which is going to be t4 is equals to 16 because it's 4 to the power of 2 16 a plus 4 b plus c so this would be our fourth term so if we were to write down the sequence we would say t1 t2 T3 and T4, right? So what is T1 in this case? We found T1 to be A, B, and C, right? As you can see here, it's A, B, and C. So I'm just going to write down A, B, and C. So it's going to be A plus B plus C. So that is T1. And then T2 is this one here which is 4a, let me use another color, so it's going to be 4a plus 2b plus c, right? So this is t2, and then t3, it's going to be this one here, which is 9a, so it's going to be 9a plus 3b plus c, so that is term number 3. And then term number four of this quadratic sequence here is going to be, um, let me use a different color. So it's going to be this one here, which is 16A plus 4B plus C, right? So this is uh, our sequence, our quadratic sequence, which is uh, the first term, T1, is... A plus B plus C, and then our second term 
is 4a plus 2b plus c and then our third term is 9a plus 3b plus c and then our fourth term is 16a plus 4b plus c right so what we can do is this so now this is the first um part of the sequence right this is the first part of the sequence let me just say first part of the sequence so now we have to find our difference right um because this is a quadratic sequence a quadratic sequence has a constant second difference so if we find the difference of these it's going to be the first difference right so let's find the difference let me just uh, write here aside. So let's first deal with the difference of t2 minus t1, right? So let me do it aside. So we're going to have uh, t2 minus t1. Uh, what is t2? t2 is equals to 4a plus 2b plus c right and then um t1 is given as a plus b plus c right so to find the difference of these two so we're gonna say okay fine we have 4a plus 2b plus c um put in bracket minus a plus b plus c just minusing a b and c right so which means you're gonna remain with we have 4a plus 2b plus c then this minus will multiply everything that is inside here. So it's going to be minus A minus B minus C. Then you're going to collect the like terms. So it's going to be 4A minus A. Write this and this. And then plus 2B minus B plus C minus C. So it's going to be um, 3A plus B. And then this C here is going to be 0. So this is the first difference. This is the answer for this one here. So it's going to be 3a plus b, right? So that is the first difference. And then um, we're going to minus t3 minus t2. So um, let me just do it here. So we're just going to subtract this first difference here of t3 minus t2. So t3 minus t2, what is t3? t3 is, remember it's this one here of 9a. 9a plus 3b plus c, right? And then what is t2? t2 is 4a plus 2b plus c. So we're going to say T3, which is 9A plus 3B plus C, put it in brackets, minus 4A plus 2B plus C. So this minus will multiply everything that is inside. So we're going to have um, 9A plus 3B plus C minus 4A minus 2B min minus C, sorry. It's going to be minus here, so it's minus C. And then uh, we collect the like terms, so it's going to be 9A minus 4A plus 3B minus 2B plus C minus C, right? So this is going to be 0. And then um, 9A minus 4A is going to be 5A. And then these two here, it's going to be plus B right so this is going to be written here so it's going to be 5a plus b right okay so um then now we're going to say t okay let me just use a different color so you're going to say t4 minus t3 right um let me do it again on this side So what we need to note is that um, after we, we're done with this process, we're going to find another difference, which we, which we call the second difference. And the second difference of a quadratic sequence must 
be the same. Okay, so now t4 minus t3, right, of which t4 is 16a plus 4b plus c, right, and then t3 is 9a plus 3b plus c. So let's subtract these two. So it's going to be 16a plus 4b plus c, put it in brackets, minus um, 9a plus 3b plus c, right? So um, just going to have 16a plus 4b plus c minus 9a minus 3b minus c. So we're going to collect the like terms. So it's going to be 16a minus 9a plus 4b minus 3b plus c minus c. So this is going to give us 0. And then 16a minus 9a is going to give us 7a, right? And then 4b minus 3b is just going to give us b. So this is just going to be here. So we're going to say 7a plus b. Fine. So this, we call it the first difference, right? So now we're going to find the second difference difference so the second difference is we're just going to subtract these two here right so if we subtract these two it means now we're going to say our 5a plus b minus 3a plus b right the same here we're going to have 7a plus b close bracket minus 5a plus b right so uh, the answers we're going to have here we're going to have 5a plus b minus 3a minus b right the negative will multiply everything that is inside here and then here we're going to have 7a plus b minus 5a minus b right because of this negative multiplication multiplying everything that is inside and then um, the final answer here so it's going to be 5a minus this 3a here right um, so it's going to be and then these two here are going to be zero right because it's b minus b so we're just going to be left with 2a right as our final answer here and then this side here um, 5a 7a sorry minus 5a is going to give us 2a and then these two here will be become zero so this is going to be our second difference so um the fact that we got the second difference as 2a it proves that this sequence is actually a quadratic sequence right Thank you so much for watching if you have any questions suggestions or comments please write them down in the comment section below otherwise please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button